Hello everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Real Mist for the Personal Computer. Um, uh, hey, I'm also going to be uh, talking over this. Uh, it's me, Logan, MMM Mites. Uh, yeah, that's uh, Logan. Jackson didn't give me, yeah, I didn't get a super cool intro line, so I'm just, uh, <laughs> just forcing it here now. <laughs> hey, um, it's all good. Uh, I'm George Kansas, uh, also yeah. known as Beak. And, uh, yeah, this is real mist, not to be, uh, you know, confused with fake mist. Yeah, actually, so that, that's what I was, uh, wondering about, because, uh, <laughs> real mist seems like a very presumptuous title, <laughs> as if, like, all the people who played the mist originally... Oh, vision. oh, there's, sorry, there's audio here. Yeah, it's just not talking, I guess. Continue falling into that starry expanse, of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed, but I must admit that such conjecture is futile. Hmm. Still, the questions about whose hands might one day hold my misbook are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. That was an ominous introduction. Yeah, sorry for the silence there. I was well. I mean, it was probably ideal that I was silent, but I was really trying hard to hear the thing because I don't know what the plot of the mist game. Yeah, so I guess this is a good time to say a couple things before we start the game proper. Which is one, this is real mist, so it's not PowerPoint mist. It's a it's a walk around an actual yeah. world mist. And two, the real mist. Uh, neither of us have really played this uh, video game before. I've played like the first twenty minutes, but that's about it. Huh. Um, so. And you went through such extensive lengths to hide the fact that you had played the first 20 minutes. <laughs> That's not important. <laughs> Alright. Now, uh, we got an animated gif here of, of water. <laughs> um, you know what? What? <laughs> no, sorry, I don't have anything to say, but I, I was just thinking about, like, this is, this is, like... Like, is this what it looked like in the original? Like, this is pretty cutting-edge technology, I would imagine, uh, at the time. It, this game is older than I am. I can't like, speak to the exact differences between PowerPoint Mist and Real Mist, but uh, I don't think it had this like flowing video pre-rendered cutscene. But I could be. I think it. I remember this part, like it, like yeah. it, a little bit of motion, and then this. Um, it was on like the in, like original Macintosh that my school had. Oh yeah, yeah. I think this game was older than both of us, right? Not combined, of course. But... There are there are two oh we oh you can still play it in PowerPoint Mist mode if you want that's nice but uh, I think we want to do free roam yeah oh, like sure what's that... the point of playing this version you know yeah exactly I'm sure there's a bunch of diehards out there who are gonna be like upset that we're that we're like walking around the world but yeah <laughs> so this Ooh. this is it this is uh this is Mist yeah it looks choppy on my end but uh, yeah. I'll make two those are the uh <laughs> those are the costs we have to pay for technology. <laughs> the water looks good though. Dang. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, I, like I, think, I don't think you should leave the dock. I think you should stay here for oh, a few days. Sure. I mean, this seems like a pretty safe dock, pretty sturdy. Um, yeah. That's a little. I mean, the fact that this boat's underwater is a little ominous, personally. That's true. Not a uh, huge fan I, I like to imagine that we showed up here like Captain Jack Sparrow and uh, just uh, walked off the boat just as it sank. Now. Uh, Logan said it's choppy, and you at home might think, uh, gosh, I think this game's choppy too. This video recording's not very good. Um, the, tr the truth is much uh, worse than that, which is that this whole game is pretty choppy. It is not running too good. It's, and it's not because of my computer. As far as I can tell, this version is just uh, like this. Hey, well, I mean, you got way more frames than you would in the PowerPoint version of Mist, That's right? true. So even if you think it's kind of choppy, so is the original Mist, so we're just getting closer to that authentic Mist experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm really dunking... actually being there in Mist. <laughs> really dunking on Mist here. Yeah, um, well, I mean, it's like um, it's an old game, and <laughs> I think old things deserve to be made fun of. I agree. Did um, that do anything? Uh, it made a sound. Here, here, here uh, listen very closely. Okay. Did you hear that? <laughs> a very quiet sound. <laughs> Sorry, my dog is running all over. You can probably hear her louder than you can hear that sound. <laughs> I, I definitely could, so I assume the audience can as well. But you know what? Uh, dogs are great. Uh, and uh, that's all there is to that. Okay. Here's a big gear, big old gear. Throw like, a rock at it. I assume you need to like, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. You need. We need to put all these up. I. Uh, so this isn't a fully blind let's play because uh, I do know one thing about this game. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've also played video games before, so I just assume flick up every lever is like a, uh, is uh, is is uh, just gonna be a reality. 
Have you ever seen the back of the gear? This is like some exclusive LP content right here. The back of the gear. Oh, that's interesting. You didn't get that in your in your father's mist. <laughs> no, no. I think my dad has literally never seen the back of that gear. Yeah, he hasn't. He'll have to watch it this. Definitely for, uh... seen the front of it. Oh, so. by the way, by the way, by the way. Uh, in the original mist, you would go up here, and you could either go that way or you could go that way. But we're in the third dimension, the third way, if you will. Whoa. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, this is some. This is good. This, this is, is pretty good. incredible, to be honest. Honestly, I do like the design of this game. Um, it looks pretty good. Uh, I I, I think it's worth I playing think this you version. Try to exclusively go on paths that you can't go on in the original Mist game. Oh heck yeah! No, I totally agree. Uh, which by oh, the way, there's a letter. Yeah, no, there's there is, there is, and I know about it. I will, I will go get it. But the thing is, if you go this way and let's say that you just continued on to the island, you would totally miss this letter. Whereas, um, normally you would absolutely see this letter, like because the game would stop like right here, and you'd be like, "What's that?" Uh, I'm just gonna uh, let the audience read this one. Um, oh okay. Yeah. Um, but can you hold it up for a bit? Because I've not read it yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the marker switches are a proper noun. Uh, marker switches. Okay. So they're uh, probably pretty I'm important. To the imager to receive. The imager is not, though. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, that was all Atris had I mean, to say. I imager is dime a dozen. Marker switches, those are only here. Um, hey, um, how do you say that dude's name? Uh, I believe it's Atris. Atris? Okay. Yeah. Like Atrium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to count the marker switches. I actually forgot about that part. So there's one there, one there, uh, and then there's one in front of this thing. So that's yeah. three so far. The Oracle is what I'm going to call that building. Uh, see, this is a nice little uh, padding piece of content because they knew that they couldn't, they could only make so many pre-rendered backgrounds. I assume. So at some point, it's like, well, we need to make the people, we need to make people go around this stuff over and over again. So why don't we just make them go across the whole island and then go back? Um, because as far as I know, this game is kind of filled with that sort of stuff. Well, as far as I'm aware, this is probably one of the first video games. So um, they didn't have a lot of like level design technology I, back then. I believe time, it was so. Frogger, Tetris, and then Mist. This was the third video game. <laughs> okay. Um, dang, this is, a, this is a cool rocket. Uh, it certainly is. Uh, oh, just pull that switch. Too. Push that lever. <laughs> Push <laughs> that lever. Sorry, mark a switch. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's true. Marker switch. I'm just very, I very. Uh, when I get into a game, I just want to start flicking the switches, you know. I really, hmm. I'm actually very interested if you can fall off. Uh, it does not look like it. Hmm. Rip. <laughs> that's that's probably for the best. So like, Mist is kind of the original walking simulator, right? Uh, yeah, certainly this version. But yeah, even the original version. It, it, in fact, you even had less input than a walking simulator because at least in a walking simulator you can do all this stuff, right? Like, um. That's in, true. In the original Mist, you but just I, clicked around. Yeah, but I mean, I think that this is, I think, w with regards to what I'm saying, that's like the, spiritually is the same, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because those green is, and red. What is this thing? I'm a member of the Knights Templar, you see, so I keep it red. So this is actually, so not only have I not played Mist, but even when I played the forums game Mist, I only stayed in one area and then like, like threw rocks at the gear. So like, I've never even interacted with this stuff in the, in the forums game. Uh, Mist, from what I can tell, Mist is just about really cool uh, worlds, really cool creative worlds, and then just kind of slowly, uh, maybe even glacially exploring them. <laughs> glacially, um, glacial exploration. Yeah. I think that's five. And uh, this is, I, I, I've been thinking of it for a while, I've been kind of looking at it, but this is this is a bit ominous. Um, the ship uh, that's sunk? We, well, it's very similar to the ship that's already sunk off the dock that we showed up to. Yeah, I get a hard deja vu vibe from this. Um, yeah. I feel like I've seen this this sunken ship somewhere before. Um, <laughs> Jesus, Jackson. <laughs> we got an arrow. Okay, so those are some cool symbols. There's another marker switch. I'm just saying, that in the business, we would call that uh, we would call that sunken ship a callback. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Um, Ooh, I think this little... is my favorite thing so far. I like this a lot. Yeah, I like how it says "miss." Yeah, I was about to say like just in case <laughs> kind you of a forgot. Title drop. Yeah, late title card. <laughs> um, I don't want to mess with any of the other puzzles right now because, like, you know. Sure. All right, I think is that seven. Boy, this island's pretty small. I can understand. I mean, like when I was playing the forums game, I was like, I thought it was a lot bigger than this. Yeah, no, this is it. Like when we when when we were killing people and stuff. Uh, well, I wasn't, but you know, <laughs> when, like, when everyone was like killing people, it's like, hole. yeah, 
you just hear like a ah and it's like coming from like 30 feet away <laughs> yeah yeah because i faked my death over at the docks and i was like how can anyone see <laughs> how can anyone see that i faked my death it's like it's like somebody else doing it in the same room as you <laughs> yeah <laughs> um there's a little fireplace there that's cool love, love a good fireplace um let's go ahead and read these, some of these letters i think yeah. Oh, no, oh, I guess I just. Yeah. You just. Oh. I did it. I think you just put the page in the book. He stuck it's in the television. Yeah. Remember when all close-ups in like every TV show looked like this? <laughs> no. <Okay. laughs> what are you talking about? Like, the, like '90s television shows just have a particular look. Oh, okay. Like that kind of close-up reminds me of like the intense close-ups they'd have in Star Trek. Hey, look, on the other side of the room, there's a similar situation with a red page and a red book. Is there a way to look at the page? No, uh, you just sort of put it in the like book, it. Okay? Yeah, yeah, it seems to be all I can really do with it. Oh, we got a similar thing going on here. Yeah, there were a lot of games of this type early on that were like mostly just close-up videos of uh, different dudes. It says, bring him the red pages. That seems... What have you done for me so, lately, sir? Talked over one of the critical lines in this. <laughs> um, okay, we got some books here. Okay, so I, I recognize the these from the Mist game. We got Channelwood, uh, Stone Ship, uh, Selenitic Age. Got oh, yeah, yeah. Here. I think I made up fake names for all of these, so I can't even remember them. I think I called the Selenic Age Selena Gomez. Um, this is Age Fahrenheit. 451. <laughs> it's a political commentary. Yeah. Wow, they Ooh. really came up with uh, individual textures for all these. That's cool. <laughs> they look like garbage. Sorry, uh, to be clear. The, the, they look gross. Not, not that they look like garbage. They're good textures, but they look fucking nasty. Yeah, I if, hate... If anything, they're too good of textures. <laughs> yeah, I really hate the visual, like... <laughs> <laughs> the visual service that my eyes are are witnessing. Yeah, there's only so many that I even want to look at. Um, let's look at let's look at Channelwood. Oh 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 okay. Hmm. So these are just full yeah. books. Let's show you this one well. This is just like a regular book. Yeah. Really Sorry, I'm just. To... Oh, this is long. Oh jeez. No wonder that missed I... farm game is the way it is. We can okay. We can devote <laughs> some time to that, but I don't want to do that right now. We just we just yeah. started. I don't want to. I mean, can we just play this game like gamers and not read? Yeah, like there's a reason I play video games. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to read a book. Jeez, how many right. these nerds made a game about reading books? <laughs> now I'm pretty sure I again I have not really played PowerPoint Mist, but I think that there's a the sec the big secret back here uh, is that. You like you don't see this when you start the game. You just see this, and you so you click forward. Oh, but and you so can just it, turn the, them all. the biggest juke of them all is that you could. It's just in your peripheral vision, but not quite. Would be this. <laughs> so they want you to circle all the way back to the down to this cavern. Have we got all the marker switches? Uh, I believe so. But either way, no. we know we know the number. No, we of didn't. Them. Sorry, I know that we didn't because one of them was on the missed title card. Across the water, we didn't turn any of those cranks. Oh, you're right. Yeah, we need to. We, so, but we know that there's a seventh because of that. Uh, dimensional imager. So we got. Oh, topographical extrusion. That sounds really cool. Water turbulent pool. Also cool. But let's do the boring one. Marker switch diagram. I guess. Yeah, water turbulent pool sounds a bit. Oh. Okay. I probably should have paid attention to those numbers actually. Forty-seven. My bad. Boom. We got it. All right. Oh, this looks like some puzzle. Oh, okay. So those are the marker switches look like. Okay, that's cool. Good. Wow, that's fantastic. All right, this is when we reveal that we're playing a puzzle game blind, <laughs> and I've, I've completely forgotten what you're supposed to do here. Uh, it seems. Uh, well, how about we? What did that letter get say? Get all the marker switches first. Well, it said you need to enter in the number of marker switches, and I, for some reason I thought you had to come down here to do that. And maybe you do, um, but I'm just, I want to read that letter again. Yeah, sure, but then I think... Oh, so oh you can I'm, walk faster. That's in handy. Just, just a sec. I gotta, I'm going to mute for a bit. you got to carry the stream for a moment. No, no problem. No problem. I got this. Uh, on the Into the imager. The four chamber beside the dock. 
Oh, oh, okay. Oh, we just need to enter 07 in there, duh. I'm glad that they have an entire thing telling us what the marker switches look like, though. The tutorial was so detailed, it actually confused me. Alright, now I feel like I got this. Okay, sorry. Uh, still here. Uh, but also, my dad is here, and he's played Miss, so... Uh, nice! Me a uh, hey, what do you have to do at the beginning of Miss? Beginning? Yeah, like, uh, like... And what's going on here? Um, like, is that the clock tower? Uh, I think we're like under, we're under the ground. Like we turned left at the very beginning, and there's a little cave oh, beside the ship. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. yeah it's I thought been you a just while, had right? to. Oh, maybe. Hmm. This is. No, nope, that didn't do anything. No, this is something under the ground. I think we gotta go get the other marker switch across the water. Okay. All right. I don't know. I, see, I know we have cranks. to turn them all on, but I don't know... I don't know where you, oh, you're in the sh Oh, wait, okay, you're right beside the ship. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's another area that looks like the ship. Into the... Uh, into this the is, like, a different version where you can, like, walk around and stuff. Hmm. Was one of the other things an imager? The imager is the thing that we were looking at in the bottom. That was the imager. But I entered showed. seven into there, but that's not it. Well, let's go get the other marker switch before we go back. I'm sure, sorry. okay. I'm sorry I'm getting so annoyed about this, but it's like... No, I'm no, just... I'm, this is a collaborative effort. I'm absolutely willing. There, there you go. Go back to the ship. Go back to the thing in oh. the middle there. And there's a ship. You press the lever, and the ship comes up, and then the ship will be up by the uh, dock. Hmm. Wait, which lever? This lever? Maybe. Well, we've already pushed... We, we already moved this up. I think we have to move all seven up. Maybe that's what will move it up? All right. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's figuring out which one, because... The dial on the inside of the cave said seven. Oh, I see. Okay. Right, well, enjoy. enjoy your Smash Brothers, sir. Yeah. Oh, so, hmm. I don't think we can do. Hmm. There's a. This is like some Mario 64 shit. I don't think we can do this right now, because I don't know. I don't know the answer. Yeah, I guess so. But like, I feel like you have to. We have to turn that uh, switch over there. I feel like that's a later thing. I feel like okay. right now we just need to get the initial info, like the message from Atris, which is like in the imager down here. Gosh, okay. anyone watching this who, who's played Mints before is extremely upset with this, and I just want to make clear, that's not going to stop. You're going to continue to be upset with this this whole game. Yeah, sorry about uh, sorry about that, that brief diversion as well with my dad, but I figured... Uh... Oh no, yeah, no, I appreciated uh, his, his expertise. Uh, that, that puzzle seems like something we'll, we're definitely going to have to do. Okay. Um, so this seems wrong. What, what else would it be, though? Like, this uh, is, why, don't this you, is why don't you enter in the other stuff while we're here, right? Sure, okay. Because, like, we have a couple of numbers that we have, so we might as well see what they do. Maybe, I'm, maybe I just counted wrong. Maybe it's, like, not seven. Oh, that looks cool. This is the topographical... Yeah, excur extrusion test. Okay, sure. And what's the water trip in the pool? That sounds like it's a hot tub. Yeah, yeah. Gotta get in that jacuzzi. Yeah, I'm just saying I can go for a few beers in the hot tub. That's the dream. I mean, we'll be living the dream. There we go! Uh, let's hop in. Yeah. Alright, so should we count the marker switches again? Um. Well, I, we can't be that off, right? Like, it has to be just like six or seven, like six or eight, right? Like. That seemed wrong. Let's see. Nope. Nothing there. Let's try eight. Yep, there we go. That's it. <laughs> we just, so, uh, just we counted just a little off. Yeah. Maybe we didn't see one. We didn't Ooh. explore enough. Catherine, my love. I have to leave quickly. Something terrible is happening. And it's hard for me to believe. Most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine is one of our sons. I suspect Agatha, but I shouldn't leap to conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. Oh, I should have known better than to have left my library unchecked for so long. Well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in their places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return, but if you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Oh, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, and erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. Okay, so... 
that I guess gives us the whole story of this then. Yeah, did you hear what he said? Because like, um, could you not really? Well, I think it's just the nature of the streaming thing. Can you? Is there are there subtitles in the options? Uh, let me. Sorry, I probably should have looked at that earlier. Looking like no. Uh, looking like no. That's that's that, dumb. That's uh inaccessible. Yeah, this really makes me mad and angry. I mean, maybe it's some other setting I don't know about. I could Google it between the, this and the next video. But, uh, oh, nope. Don't want to quit. Nope. There we no, go. No, don't cook new game. Oh. <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. I've avoided okay, disaster. Okay. So, sure, sure. Um, we need to... Yeah, uh, uh, stop the suns and uh, wipe away the debt. Cool. Yep. Uh, so, it seems like if we're going to have a big reading break... Uh, we should probably do that next video. Uh, I think this is probably long enough for episode one. Um, though future episodes might be longer since this is a like it's probably like if I had to guess like seven eight hour game. So um, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we will come back and we uh, I might hmm, I might have you look at a walkthrough, Logan, uh, or maybe some sort of spoiler free guide so we can get through this a little bit better. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fair. I don't actually... Okay, so here's one thing for you. I don't really want to read books on stream. Okay, um, so maybe I could just link th yes. the, the transcripts of these books in between. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah, because that we, just seems much better. Of we, we will experience read these books. Everyone. Yeah, we will read these books, and we hope that you will read these books, the, the viewer, <laughs> in between episode <laughs> one and episode two. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, so uh, stay frosty out there.